Hello, first grade. I am here today to read with you A Growing Wind. I've gotten a lot of responses that you really like tapping out some of the words together before we read and going over them. So I've got some words from the text that I either want you to practice tapping out or I just want to tell you what the word is. So the first one is a compound word. And so it goes in two different parts. I want to see if you know what this word is. I'm gonna do a squiggly line under one of the phonic stances. Oh, R, or, or, or. This word is acorn. So hopefully you can say it with me, A, corn, acorn. Hopefully you knew that one. Now, if you see the word in the text and it has this, the suffix S, it turns into more than one, acorns. So it goes from acorn to acorns. That means more than one. In this case, there are two acorns. The next one has a glued sound and a suffix. So I'm going to write it. I want you to figure out if you can read this word. I'm going to circle the suffix for you. I'm going to box the glued sound and underline the base word. We'll do this one together. L and d ed landed. Now sometimes ed says ed, sometimes it says id. It's landed. So it's landed. Landed. In this text you might see something has landed. This next word is one that sometimes kids get confused. That's why I'm going to tell you what this word is. This word is began. Began. That means something started. So it began. This next one is one that I want you to see if you can tap it out. It is another compound word. So it's two words coming together to make one word. I'm gonna draw a little dotted line so you can see where the two words are broken up. So the first word, you should know this word, him. This next word, self. When you put it together, it's himself, himself. Hopefully you'll be able to recognize that one when you see it in the text. Ooh. The next one has a blend at the beginning and a digraph blend at the end, boom. That's why we're writing this one because I want you to be able to recognize this. So the one at the beginning, we got the blend. It has three letters for the blend. And then the end has a digraph blend. I want to, I want to give you one second, 10 seconds, to try to tap this word out. All right, you ready? Stretch. That means, ooh, like you're stretching. I wonder what that could mean in this text. Oh, we have acorns? Stretch? What? What do you think? Now we have just a couple more. I have another one that has two blends and it has a suffix at the end. I'm going to mark it up for you. Oh, I forgot to underline my base word. What am I doing? Here we go. Tap the word out to yourself. All right. Oh. Ast ed blasted. Remember we talked about ed. Most of the time people read it ed. It can say id or t even. But this in case in this case it says blasted. Blasted. Now we just have two more. This next one is one I just want to tell you what it says because you actually will see this word more than once and it is a long word. But you are not scared because you know how to read. This word is struggle, struggle. That means when something's very difficult and it's hard and you're like trying to get through it, struggle. And sometimes you're having a hard time doing it, to struggle, to go through something really hard, struggle. That's that word. And then the last one, you have to use something I taught you in one of the videos. I really hope you remember. Now, if you said Tim, I will cry. You know it's not Tim. This E comes over, makes the I say its name. I, it's T, I, M, time. I can 
mark out the E. I can even underline it and do a V dash E for a vowel, the I, a consonant, that's the line, and then an E. This word is time, time. Very good. Now we are ready to read this together. You're not just listening to me read. Even though I know you love listening to me read, you are following along with me during a growing wind. So we're reading this together. So that means you need to get your geode out, your black and white copy, find a growing wind and read it with me. One fall day, two acorns fell from two tall trees. They landed in the grass and began to fall down the hill. They went hunting for a spot to call home. Before long, one acorn said, let's stop on this hill. This is a spot where we can grow tall. Remember, those are called quotation marks, and that means that someone is talking. In this case, the acorn is talking. Now, can that really happen in real life? No, but they're just making that happen for this text. This spot gets all the wind, the other acorn grunted. Standing in the wind is too hard. Let's move on. Standing in the wind could help us. We could get strong, the first one said, but the other did not want to try. You can struggle with it, that word struggle. I will pick a spot that has no wind. He went on down the hill. This shed blocks the wind, he said to himself. Time went by. The two acorns, remember dot, dot, dot means it's continued on the next part. So real quick, so we, we remember, one acorn said, I'm going to go on the hill so I can grow tall, I'm an acorn. It's going to plant itself, it's going to have find itself root, rooted in the ground somewhere and it's trying to pick a spot, all right? So this, this acorn says, let's stay on the hill it could work. And the other one says, you know what, I'm going to go behind the shed because that's going to block all the wind. Remember, wind is a powerful force. And now they are growing. So, go back to page five. The two acorns, dot, 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 flip, were now trees. Wow, that's amazing. When the wind was blowing, the tree on the hill had to be strong. A rush of air would press his trunk. Each gust would stretch his roots. It was not fun to stand in the wind, but it was the best spot to grow strong roots. The tree by the shed rested in the still air. He was glad that he did not have to stretch his roots. Remember, that is looks like it's blown over. It's called italics, or it's, it, the word is italicized. And so you say it just a little bit differently. So you say his roots. Soon, a big storm hit. Dun, dun, dun. The sky went black. The wind gusted. Then it blasted. We know that can happen. Let's see what happens to these trees. When the storm ended, the tree on the hill was still tall, but the other one had fallen. Now I want to talk about why that happened. The tall tree on the hill, look at its roots. It has really strong roots. It's gone through some hard times, it struggled. It had some hard stuff happen. It had to blow back and forth in the powerful wind, but it stood tall because it got stronger. But the other tree, that was by the shed, when the storm came, it blew over. Now there's a life lesson in this. The last page says, strength comes through struggle. Now what that means is when something hard happens, well, like right now, it's really hard for a lot of people. When a lot of people are getting sick, a lot of people aren't in school, a lot of people aren't even going to their jobs, and it's really hard for people, but Hard times make people stronger. It makes them more, fancy word, resilient. It means that if they get knocked down, they're gonna get back up. They can do hard things just like you. So be like the strong rooted tree when stuff happens to you that's hard. You just get back up and you say, this is gonna help me, hashtag never give up. And you're not going to be like this tree that when it faces hard times, it doesn't know what to do. I love you, I believe in you, I'll talk to you soon.